Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you five relatively new Google Docs features that you might have missed. Let's go ahead and take a look at them right now in my sample Google document that I've set up. The first feature I wanna show you is this option for commenting or responding to a part of a Google document. Let's say that I want to just highlight this section. And when I highlight it, you'll see that there is now a little add emoji reaction. You could say, you know, hey, I think this great, this part is great. Woohoo! And so you just have that little emoji of the little party person. So that's kind of new, kind of new and kind of cool. So the next feature, let's take a look, is up here in this insert menu and we have tables that have templates. We have table templates. I made a separate video about that. I'll link it up in the description down below. But you can see here, you can use any one of these templates like a product roadmap. And of course you can modify this and instead of it being a product, it could be something like a group research project. And instead of status, you could modify it and say task. Right? And we could say related files or links. Right? And then any notes we want about that task. You can see there, not started, in progress, launched. And you can even edit those options if you like as well. So next, I want to show you something else from that insert menu. And that is the ability to add in a drop down menu anywhere in your Google document. So let's start writing a sentence. This is a, and I'm just going to stop there. This is a, and now I'm going to insert a drop down right here. And you can see here, I have these default options but I'm gonna add a new dropdown and we'll say this is a sentence and then we'll put in under sentence, we're going to put in paragraph. Oops, I'll have to spell it correctly. Sentence fragment. Again, I'm having trouble typing, there we go. Or you could put in anything that's not even related. This is a frog, or this is a cat. And let's save that. And so now we have that drop down menu where we could say, oh, this is a sentence fragment, or this is a frog, or this is a cat, or this is a paragraph. Now I've again made a separate video just about using that feature, and that's linked up in the description down below as well. Now I wanna show you another feature that people have been wanting for years and I get asked about that all the time and that deals with formatting your pages. And for years you could only format your pages so that every page was landscape mode or every page was portrait mode. Now if you go to format page orientation, you can apply to the whole document or just selected content, the orientation that you want to use. So let's say here, I'm gonna format this one, page orientation, selected content only will be in landscape mode and the rest of the document I can leave in portrait mode if I want to. I'm gonna cancel that because I like it in portrait mode as it is. And the last thing that you might have missed in Google Documents, if you're looking at my documents right now, you'll notice that up here next to tools, I have extensions, but you might find that you have a add-ons menu still in your Google account. So in some cases, you will find that extensions is where you'll now find the add-ons that you previously found just under the add-ons menu. So those are five relatively new features in Google Docs that are worth noting. 
As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.